WFAN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Unfortunately, this microphone has gone wacko on me, but I'm going to try to do this show uh, without the uh, ah, dog on it. It's always technical. Anyway, this is a picture from um, someone sent me of uh, the results, 61.7% versus 38.2%. I thought you all would get a kick out of that. When I saw it, I, I thought that was uh, rather funny, but uh, the market is going uh, crazy. I want to talk to you about this pattern that we've been looking at, uh, this three dry pattern, folks. Now, what we did last night is we had come down to this level right here. We went right into that gap right there, which was almost at the 382. If you remember yesterday, we've been short this from 43570, and I said you covered at the 382, which would be 42488. And so you should have been out of it by then. And we went all the way up, and we're still going up. At uh, We're at 438. We went that high. But not all things are the way they seem. Here is a picture of what that looks like. There's a gap in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. There's where it gets filled. This is the largest single gap that we've ever had in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. 200, we gap 800 points, folks. It gapped up, and now it's up almost 1,400. Okay, that looks really great. Now, remember, yesterday was really bullish. Remember, everything was going crazy and going nuts to the upside? Let me show you what happened to the open interest in the coveted E-mini S&P from yesterday, okay? This is from December the 5th. Open interest dropped 32,285, folks. That means that was short covering. Guess what? You're going to check it today. And if it's that again, you don't want to be buying stuff up in here, would be my guess. But that's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. We've got a lot of things to cover. Tomorrow's guest will be Bill Meridian of Cycles Research, and he'll always be good to look at. And also, I wanted to uh, bring one other thing uh, together uh, to show you uh, some of the, the trades that we're working on. But I want to spend some time on this chart. Uh, right here, because this is the uh, weekly chart of the Russell, long-term weekly, going back a very, very long time. And I wanted to show you these. There's three patterns up in here that look really interesting. So we'll we'll have to wait and see uh, how they unfold. Okay, so let's take a little break here. And when we come back, we'll talk about the Russell 2000 in live format. We'll be right back. <laughs> 